Hello and welcome back to This War of Mine, High School Runs, this time with Catcher. This is episode 2, day 4. Last time we went out to the garage and got a lot of good stuff, and then we went out to the military outpost, and then we got home and this has happened. So, this is going to be fun. Uh, they stole pretty much every single thing that we possibly could own, which is a shame. So I'm glad I did change most of it out for other stuff. Because if I now go to our things, yeah, we just have pretty much what we brought back this time. Uh, it does mean we can go out again, though, which is a good plan. Our plan will now be to go out every other day as we can. I think our plan is our best plan is to do the garage... Military outpost, garage, military outpost, garage, military outpost, with maybe a couple of other things thrown in. We've already boarded up everything here, so we're a pretty solid shape there. Besides that, maybe upgrading this going forward would be nice, but we are a little bit low on items. Taking with us the parts may have turned out to be a really good shout. We can go out again tonight, so I'm de debating whether or not it's worth going out and just... What's the plan? Um, what am I going to say? The... Back to the garage to see if we can trade some of these meds for a load of good stuff. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, got a bit of a cough there. Nice. So, we're going to wait and see if anyone turns up that we can actually do anything with. Early in the game, sometimes you do get a few visitors who you can actually interact with without a second person or without taking someone else in. Because genuinely, I would be very concerned if we were to have a situation. <coughs> hmm. What's it called? I don't know what I was about to say. I'm concerned about what situation? No, I'm not concerned about any situation, about people coming to the door. It is just a shame that often when people come to the door, I can't do anything with them. It'd be nice if there was a method, but I'll be able to do a lot more of that in the two-person runs. Which we are slowly but surely getting towards, but first off, we need to work out who the best character is. Who be you? You look like someone who needs some help with something, which means I cannot help. Hello. Yeah, you need help. Unfortunately, if you'd said... I've brought you stuff, then that's great, but you didn't, so I can't help you. Goodbye. Back to bed I go. <clears throat> I don't need to eat until tomorrow, which is good. We still have one on the counter. We're going to leave the door open and sleep, <clears throat> because we're going to go back to the garage. Interesting to think there are a few other places as well, actually. Like the brothel, there's a possible trade. The sniper Junction could get me a lot of jewels, which I could then trade for lots of stuff, because Catch is a better trader. That may be a worthwhile trip at some point. <clears throat> but for now, we're just going to try and prepare. We're just going to take two of this, and we're then going to scavenge. Because no one should take come today, because they came yesterday. Nice. Let us quickly run and see what we can get. We no longer need to get the... What's it called? We no longer need to get the hatchet, so we are able to do a few good things if I do this. I will take one of these, but besides that, I kind of just want... <clears throat> Some of this, some of this, um, one of these maybe, and ten water. If I then drop the water down to however many, much it'll allow. A single one, okay, that's a bit weird, but fine. Um, that's nice, that's a decent chunk of stuff. Um, and it means that I'm getting more parts, a bit, a few bit more uh, electrics, which is always nice. Deal, look at my backpack, <clears throat> I can fit one, two, three, maybe four spots extra so if i was to give you this and you were to give me at least two of that because that doesn't fill up a slot um the extra bullets you could even give me two foods which is a d good because thing is this guy's often a lot of food so that could be very helpful um <clears throat> unless i do this this like so i think it's very generous of me and i could then just add another thing yeah, that's not good. That's going to be too much. Just thinking of this, because then if I do ever reach the point where I can make um, stuff, then it would be good. Although, you know what? I think that this, this is better. And then if we can chuck anything else on the top, maybe a bit more of this. I can get a third. You know what? Deal on that. And let's see. Good. Getting a decent amount of stuff. Let's run upstairs. Use the saw blade to get through up here. So then I have an extra space so I can actually grab some more stuff. I'm just going to see around the back here, maybe there's some extra, um, what's it called? If there are some extra electric parts, because then I can get those electric parts into a stack. 
I want to fully upgrade some of the workbenches a bit earlier this time. Well, though, I think Amelia did get them done quite quick. <clears throat> but yeah, let's check the basement first. I'm not going to break into theirs because I don't see the benefits right now. Uh, definitely take three of that, though. I'm more focused on getting some good parts, though. I don't know what this is used for. It's a weird one. Like, I don't think I've ever lured the guy out this way. That would be... Hmm. Maybe, maybe there is a, a use of it. Maybe if you shoot or something. There, that's what I was after. I could even get two more of those. And then I still even have a uh, space to grab one more load of components. The reason I'm focusing on components now is I feel like <clears throat> there are some safer places to get lots of wood later on. So having a lot of components early is good. And I think, looking at my backpack, I'm happy with that. That's a good selection of stuff. I'm going to get back. Cool, that's day four done. Now we're going to have to sit around and wait for the next one, unfortunately. I think uh, once we are in a situation with a gun and, well, able to be <clears throat> guarding a bit better, we will be able to... We should probably stick around and look after our stuff because I don't want to risk losing it. Uh, cool. You are bio... You need to make sure we can defend. Okay, cool. Um, so, yeah. We, we, but you we can defend this place now because everything is boarded up. Oh, sorry. Meant to click... No, not meant to click off. Getting a lot of cans so far. If I am able to defend this place, then that would be very helpful. I kind of need to upgrade this once more. What am I on? 24. <clears throat> Interesting. There is a chance we'll get the trader today who will have even more stuff, and then I can upgrade this further. Because there is a point at which I would like to be able to build the front door, because then that kind of gives us full immunity to raids. I forget that that's such a good point. <clears throat> Sorry for clearing the throat so much. Ah, it's just after I've actually just had a milkshake, which is why it's happening. So I apologise. It's uh, I know it's annoying to listen to. I'll try to avoid it as much as possible. And then once I finish this episode, I will run and grab a drink of water to try and sort out my throat. Ugh, good thing I'm not some kind of ASMR person, because that would be very, very difficult. Because <laughs> I probably would um, constantly be hacking up stuff. Uh, well, I've been trying to be very quiet and very... Relaxing for everyone watching. Hmm. I have got into ASMR actually. I don't think it, I used to think it was a bit silly. I wasn't sure what, what it was about. But then I tried to listen to it, and it really does relax me before bed. So you know what? Why not? Why not? It's no point in making fun of something for no reason, and it's actually turned out to be a very very useful thing. I'm kind of hoping that we do get the guy today. <clears throat> We've got a bit of time before we need to worry about that though. If no one comes, I think I will stick around here. Oh, I saw someone. Oh, it's Boris. Now that would be a helpful person to have, but unfortunately, just as you ex and approach the door, um, no. No, no, no. Uh, you're going to need to guard tonight. Oh, you're sad. I forget people get sad when they, yeah, can't let someone in. So let's, uh, but let's stay in, let's stay in guard. Although I'm pretty much expecting there not to be a raid today, now that I've guarded. The night was calm. Now you're hungry, sad and tired, go back to sleep. Maybe today we'll get the guy we need. Because yeah, having a... We've got 7 of that and 14 of that, that is a genuine thing we need to protect. Because those are quite difficult to find later on, and then if I can get a lot of the stuff I want to build ready, then I can ready early on, then I don't need to worry about it later on. Uh, obviously we'll have the winter to contend with, so we'll pr probably try and get a heater as soon as possible. But, yeah. We could get the trader today. I think that is uh, very much a possibility. Cool. Uh, catches is doing alright, actually. I'm pretty sure we'll get through this without too much of an issue, which is kind of the idea. Who knows? Maybe I'll... Do you know what? This episode I'll do another uh, day. So we'll go up to day, end of day 7 for this one. Mainly because I'm just going to be sleeping a lot through it all. Because I'm going to sleep again tonight. And then tomorrow, if we get raided, we could then go out tomorrow night. There should be a speed up button. That's one thing. If you, have, uh, if you watch any of my RimWorld plays, uh, games, you'll see that I kind of go at full speed all the time. For me, I just go fast or nothing. Because otherwise I get impatient while with people taking time to do things. There could be something said there that I should take more time and to worry about things, but especially when I'm a um, I'm an old hand at this game, I kind of got used to it all. So, you're probably upset that we had to say no. 
Oh no, you didn't even notice it. Mention it at all. Come on. You can do it. You can make it. Come on, trader guy. There we go. <clears throat> Sometimes I feel like I do have powers in this game. But then again, it's just me learning how the game works and then being able to do a lot of stuff. Hello. Let us trade. So, you've got a lot of stuff for me. That's nice. If I was to chuck one of those in, and chuck one of those in, there we go. If I was to see... Okay, you can give me a piece of wood as well. Deal. If I look at my things, I now have 50 components. I just need the wood. So if I give you one of this and you give me literally all of it, it's very generous of me. Let's not give you that then and let's do that. And say that. Is there anything else that we could... If I do that, and if I take away that and do that, that seems a bit better deal-wise. Uh, do you have anything else that's worthwhile on, on your thing? Um, let's deal that one up. So if I look at our things now, ooh, there's, I only just about have enough to upgrade this. It does make me think I should try and protect things a bit more, but yes, let's uh, let's quickly do this while I've got the stuff. And the trader's there, so I can see if I want to build anything it just happens while he's here. Although I'll be having zero wood, so maybe not. That's a shame, having zero wood. I should have probably prioritised getting a little bit more wood yesterday, but... Yeah, maybe by the end, by this, the next episode we may be able to do some stuff, because I'll go out again and sort it all out. Again, I kind of wanted to bring everything into one spot again. So now that's fully upgraded. <clears throat> I can actually just make a radio, which is good. Um, what do I need? This electric door, I need more of those. I just need a lot of everything, really. But I should be able to defend myself. At this stage in the war, we're not going to get super intense raids. Watch it be an outbreak of crime tonight. Um... But yeah, uh, three wood, is it worth the three wood? If I was to do anything, it would probably be one of these for this. To try and get myself a bit of... <clears throat> if I drop some of this and take... Um, ooh, you must be kidding. Uh, I shouldn't do that, I should keep eight of that at least. Maybe drop some of this off. Okay, Actually, I'm just not sure whether it's worth grabbing any of this stuff at this point. You know what? No, I'm gonna. I'm finished. I'm gonna. Not interested. I'm gonna send you away. I'm gonna go to bed. We're gonna guard tonight. We're gonna keep all of our stuff safe because we have got both a gun and a pistol. <clears throat> but yeah, I think there is a point where having two guards is better. Like you can't even max out. But yeah, let's end the day there. We're gonna guard tonight, and we're gonna do one more day in this episode, which will be day seven. Taking any bets on whether we've been raided tonight? We were raided, and we chased them off. Very, very easy. Uh, easy. It was a band of hardened robbers. <clears throat> no one was wounded or anything, which is good. Why are you still sad? Honestly, you managed to save, stave them off. Let's go and... Uh, let's, oh, we should probably eat first, actually. I have a fully upgraded oven, which I forgot about. I managed to do that all in session one, which was good. Um, I'm just going to eat one of the cans, actually. Save the fuel for later on. And I just need to kind of go out tonight, pick up as many resources as I can. Honestly, the... Uh, what's it called? The the garage may be another shout again. Because I, I want this, because then I can sleep <clears throat> through the nights that I guard. So I need 15 of that, so that's... Pretty much that's in my entire inventory full of wood. Uh, may not even need to actually trade anything. I may just go with an empty inventory, but then I need, need that and that. Maybe a couple of days... Because, yeah, this is annoying. And then I'll be able to trade again, I suppose. I may not be able to make it straight away, but having it is good. So, any, so it is like the main thing that would be super powerful. How much do I need to upgrade this? Uh, similar amounts. I just need to get lots of materials. Cool. Cool, we're going to sleep. Um, we're not, we can't get the trader today, so I'm just going to kind of end the day. And um, we're going to go into the night. Um, I'm trying to think where the best place to go would be. Because we could go back to the garage, but the shelled cottage is... If I'm not trading, and I just want wood, and I know there's a lot of wood here. I think the shelled cottage is a good one to go to. I could go to the Sniper Junction, though. I'd need saw blades to make the west out of that, though. Because I know that there is some materials there, but also jewels. Jewels are good for trading. I don't need food. And I said I was going to go here... 
I don't really have a crowbar though, do I? I don't have any tools. Nah, I'm gonna go to the shelled cottage. Because I know there is a thing you can get with the thing, but at the moment I just want wood. So given... Actually, I say that. I don't need to fill my entire inventory. Because I have 12. I don't have 10. I was thinking I had 10, situa uh, 10 slots as catcher, but no. The house is still burning. It'd be interesting if it did, like, collapse on you. But it, no, I don't think it ever does. So we're just going to spam literally as much wood into our inventory as we can. I think this one's full of lots of wood. There we go. So that is now 14 wood. There we go. If we look in the fridge, there's going to be a lot of good stuff. This is a good place to go, and I'll probably come back here. I to say that is... If I do that, I kind of want some electrical parts because I need them to make the door, if I can find any. More sugar. <clears throat> I should probably check the dead body in the back. Uh, damn, that's worthwhile. Run upstairs. This is going to be a pile of wood. I'll check the basement, but maybe there isn't electrical parts here. Yeah, so that's now enough wood. I technically have enough of everything apart from electric parts now. So I should probably try and get some electric parts. I know there is one here. Which I'm hoping we'll have some stuff in, and then I'll check what's in the back garden. Yeah, that's more wood. It's good to know that there's a lot of wood here, just in case I ever need more wood. I'm saying wood a lot. Um, but yeah, this guy in the back here is probably worth collecting his stuff up and sorting it all out. Nice. Ugh, oh, this seems all pretty good and straightforward so far. And then we've got through two episodes. Uh, yeah, I think doing this kind of three, four, three or four episode day uh, days in an episode split is quite strong. Actually, I think it gives uh, enough enough in an episode, but also means that the episodes are short enough that you guys can watch and chill. Yeah. Obviously, I'm always looking for feedback. So if you find think that something else would work better, I mean, I could just do a long three hour video for it all, but I doubt that that would be as inter inter uh, entertaining. Eventually I will be doing one, uh, an entire game in a video, but that will be when I do speedruns. If I had more time to edit and stuff, I would do like an entire game, then record it and upload it. But I kind of want to get more videos out. And I think a lot of people uh, appreciate more videos rather than me waiting and not doing as many videos just as they... Uh, just, just more. Like if it was one game every three, four weeks, which is what this would end up being, then I think people would get a bit uh, bored and I wouldn't... People wouldn't get be as engaged with the story, I don't think. Oh, for goodness sake, I keep doing this. There you go. Let's see, does this guy happen to have any electrical parts on him? He does, actually. He has exactly what I need. Um, uh, wow, okay, I wasn't expecting that. That's uh, I have enough to make my electric door, which is genuinely amazing, especially for the outbreak of crime. Uh, and I can then come back here at another point. So let's let's go. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. And in episode three, I guess we'll be building that nice electric door. See you soon.